This video will give you a demo on how to run creditor aging reports available in Sun Systems. First off, in the action box, enter RMA then press enter. Enter HC underscore AP at the search field and press enter or click search. Reports with prefix HC underscore AP display. There are three reports available, including creditor aging details by due date. The report output contains transaction details as well as the total per account. Transactions aging is based on due date. Creditor aging details by transaction date. The report output contains transaction details as well as the total per account. Transactions aging is based on transaction date. Creditor aging summary by due date. Report output contains only totals of each account with transactions aging based on the due date. The process to run all three reports is the same. Select the report you wish to generate. Click Run button on the top left. The Aging Report Parameters window is opened in a new tab on your browser. In the field Business Unit, enter the business unit you are generating report for for example Z99. In the field Budget Ledger Code, accept Default Ledger A. In the field Account Code From, enter the account, or range of accounts, to be aged. Here I choose all the creditor accounts. The transactions for these accounts are analyzed into the appropriate aging periods on the report. In account code from, enter the first account in range, after the dash, enter the last account in range. Accept default from C to CZZ to include all creditors. In the field base date, enter the date from which you want to age transactions. Up to four dates are used to age the transactions. In the fields aging date 1 to 4, accept default 30, 60, 90, and 180. In the field allocation maker in list, enter the allocation markers to be included in the aging. Transactions with the selected markers are aged on the report. You can choose the allocation markers in the list or check the all option. Then, click the run icon. The report is displayed. You can choose to export the report, which is optional. Click export and select an export option. For instance, if you choose Excel, then Excel file will be downloaded to your browser's default download location. Click the file to open the Excel version of the report. Or, you can click print to print the report. Now, we have finished the lesson. Thank you for watching. See you next time.